Yeah. If you look into the future, a lot of jobs will be lost to robots. Are droids taking our jobs? Yep. I'm worried. I'm scared. I'm worried that automation is going to take my job or I'm not making any more money. I'm not afraid. Yeah. In today's video, we are going to be exploring the craziest, most insane humanoid AI robots that you can own right now. Assuming you have tons of money to drop. Amazingly, these things are not CGI. They're real, they're functional, and some of them can even do backflips. You know what, let's just go ahead and start this video before one of these robots takes my job. Kicking things off, we've got the Roboterra Star One, a robot that is literally built for extreme environments. And when I say extreme, this thing was tested in the Gobi Desert, and it can run 3.6 meters per second. That's fast. That's basically like an Olympic sprinter in robot form. But what's even crazier is that running that fast, it can still keep its balance perfectly, which is traditionally something that robots kind of suck at. But what is the goal of this robot? Well, it's basically for search, rescue, exploration, and well, whatever your mind can think of. Now, as far as price goes, I have no idea because it's not listed online. So you may want to reach out if you are interested in buying one of these robots. I know it's going to be expensive though. Next up, we've got the Agibot A2, a humanoid robot from China that focuses on agility and perception. Now, what I mean by that is it's got a ton of sensors, which allows it to react to its environment in real time. And it's designed to be super adaptable, meaning one day this could be a service robot or maybe even a factory robot, or maybe even just a robot chilling in your house. Now, again, like the last robot, no pricing info is available online, but if we're looking at the tech alone, I'm assuming this one's going to be a lot of money. Hold up, did you just see what I saw? What is this guy looking at? Oh my God, bro. Oh, hey. Okay, so this next one is wild. Meet 4Anyone from Neuro Robotics. Now, unlike other robots that just follows pre-programmed instructions, this robotic dude has cognitive abilities, which means it can see you, it can understand you, and it can respond like a human. It recognizes voice, gestures, and even human emotions. <laughs> and if that sounds like something straight out of a Black Mirror episode, well, it kinda is, but don't worry, it's programmed to help humans not replace us, though, most of these robots will probably one day replace us. All right, so the next robot on the list is the Fourier GR2, and it's basically a general purpose humanoid that can do a variety of different tasks. The standout feature here though is that it has human-like dexterity, meaning it can grip and manipulate different objects, just like we do. The idea with this robot, I think, is that it can work alongside us for like research, education, or even service roles. So yeah, the future of robots basically taking over customer service and a bunch of our jobs. Again, if it's not already here, it's very close to being here. All right, so we can't do a list like this without talking about Boston Dynamics Atlas. Now this thing moves more like a robot, in my opinion, than any other robot on the planet right now, or at least on par with all of the best robots out. Currently though, it's just for research. Search. Next on our list is Digit by Agility Robotics. Now this human-sized robot can stand upright like a human and can carry up to 18 kilograms, which is basically almost 40 pounds. This thing is currently being tested in warehouses, but I would not doubt it if you soon saw it delivering packages to your front door. And on that note, Amazon is even backing this company. So yeah, start getting ready to tip your robotic delivery guy. Next on our list is Figure 02 by Figure AI. This humanoid robot is being trained by OpenAI. So instead of just moving like a lot of robots on this list, it can plan, it can reason, it can execute, and just it can deal with all around complex tasks. The hands on this dude have 16 degrees of freedom, which means it can grip, manipulate, and handle objects just like a human, you know, like me or you. Well, actually, I don't wanna assume, maybe there's a robot watching this. I can just imagine this thing in a factory or even cooler in your home playing piano for you, making your dinner or a million other tasks that I don't wanna do around the house. Please, AI, just let me do the art and the creating. You do the hard tasks. All right, next on the list is the Galbot G1. This robot's got AI powered interactions, which means that it can conversate with you and it can also complete tasks around your house or maybe a workplace. Again, 
another robot that's gonna take our jobs. The robot's even fully modular, which is what makes this robot so cool, or at least applicable to a lot of different things. Basically, you can train it for a bunch of different jobs and it can probably do that job. But personally, I just wanted to do the chores around my house. Okay, this next one is really, really cool and I've been following it for a while. And it's called the Unitree G1. Now you may remember that at CES they released the Unitree dog. Well, the G1 is more of a humanoid type robot. And this robot has 23 degrees of freedom, meaning it moves super fluidly. Please don't. Not like that, a lot better than whatever the heck I just did. It can walk, jump, climb stairs, and even run about four and a half miles per hour. Now this robot, I actually do have a price for if you'd like to go out and buy one. Now it is very expensive, but not as expensive as some of the other robots probably are on this list. You can purchase this one for $16,000. So yeah, you could technically own your own humanoid butler right now. All right, and last up, we've got a robot that is from the exact same company as what we just talked about, which is Unitree, only this one is the H1. And this one is Unitree's most advanced humanoid yet. It's mainly built for industrial and research applications. Just to name a few standout features, this robot has LiDAR, depth cameras, and overall was built to be one of the most lifelike humans on this list. So if you've ever wanted to live your life like you're in a sci-fi film, which you kind of are the way technology's moving, but if you want to make that even more of a reality, like, you know, some of the robots on my shirt, you wanna live with one of these, this is probably as close as you're gonna get, at least right now in 2025. Okay, so that concludes all of the humanoid robots that I've got on this list. Oh, hold on. I'm actually editing the video right now and I just realized that I totally left out a robot that I had on my list that I wanted to talk about, which is the 1X Neo. I don't know how I forgot because this is like one of the most practical use in-home robots that exists right now. The 1X Neo is an AI powered robot meant to help out in the house. It's about five feet, four inches tall. It weighs about 66 pounds and it's already being tested in real homes. And the craziest part, the company is backed by OpenAI. So this thing is learning how to be your ultimate assistant through the use of OpenAI. We don't have an exact price yet, but they say it's going to cost about as much as a car would. So start saving now, but this could definitely be in your home very, very soon. Okay, so that concludes all of the humanoid robots that I've got on this list. All very expensive. All of them are probably going to take our jobs at some point, but I felt like this would be a really cool video and departure away from what I usually do, which is like desktop robots, like the ones that I have on my desk. This is Ivy. I've got a full review on him too, if you wanna go and check that out, as well as a bunch of other desktop robots. But the world of humanoid robots, giant robots, I hope to eventually get into because they fascinate me. But I am curious, what was your favorite humanoid robot in this video? Or did I leave out your favorite humanoid robot that's coming out? Either way, let me know down in the comments. I'm always curious when looking at these robots and you know, the question always comes up, would I trust a robot like this in my house? And I think I would trust a robot like this, but I am also afraid of what companies are becoming now and how much they may be gathering data on you from this indirectly or directly. So it is a little bit scary. If you wanna have this discussion down in the comments below too, I will definitely engage and talk about my opinion more on this subject, but it's definitely a reality that we're all going to have to face soon. Having said that, if you want to escape the current reality that you're in and you want to jump into a very cool book, this is the book I wrote. It's called The Very Strange Universe of Dr. Natalia Zeal. It's got an AI robot in it. It's got a super cool scientist. It's got space travel. It's got a bunch of different sci-fi elements and I tried to make it as cool as possible. So if you want to go and check that out, I will leave a link down in the description below for you to pick up this book. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a video right up here. And I've got a bunch more coming out later this year. I'm Eric J. Coons. Thank you so much for coming to my channel where tech and adventure meet. I've got so many cool videos to make and show you in 2025. I'm super excited. Please hit that subscribe button if you'd like to follow me on this journey and join our community on Discord. That's also linked below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.